Hello everybody and welcome back to Juno where we have been working on some car contracts recently but we're going to need to shift gears a little bit because we're not really in a position where we want to do either of these right now. So we're going to grab this satellite mission. So we're going to need to launch a craft with the CubeSat and we're going to need to achieve orbit with that craft. So that sounds good, we'll accept that. And let's hop into our build here. I don't think we have a craft that will achieve orbit currently saved. So uh, I don't wanna save this, I want to load a craft. Yeah, we've got the 1KMS here, which is really going to be very outdated. This is fundamentally a sounding rocket. Uh, let's just start a new craft from scratch. Okay, so we've got this here, which is like our, our uh, control center. Sure. Let's just center on that. There we go. And we're going to need to put in a payload on this for sure. So let's see. Where are the payloads again? Payload. Okay. So here's a CubeSat. Okay. Do we have like a fairing? That would be, you know, reasonably nice. We could put a nose cone on top of it like that. I guess that works. Sure. That seems fine. Okay, next up, we're going to need a stage two. I think that this size of... We, we might be reducing the size of this rocket in terms of its width. We'll see what that looks like. But for now, I want to put a gnome engine in here. And this engine is intended to be a vacuum optimized engine. So let's take a quick look at the part properties here. There we go. And we're going to want to change some things on the nozzle. So the gimbal is fine, I think. The size is okay. But what we're really interested in here is increasing the specific impulse. So if we increase the nozzle length, we are definitely increasing that specific impulse up to 279 seconds there. And yeah, I don't, I don't want to actually increase the the size of this engine that much. But that is definitely decent to increase that up. So that seems relatively okay. This is again intended to be vacuum optimized. So now the question is, what is the thrust to weight on this? So the starting thrust to weight is actually 0.98. That's not terrible. And the DV on this is 4.33 kilometers per second. So that alone is quite powerful, to be honest. That's not bad. As long as we get it to altitude, right? So that's the real question is, can we get that up to altitude? I want to try to remember where we set the... Yeah, this is in vacuum. So if we drop this down to zero kilometers, there's no thrust to weight here, right? So we have to get this up to an altitude of like 30-ish kilometers before it starts being at all useful. I think we'd like to boost this with SRBs. I'd also like to check in here to see what we've got for gyros. We'll give it maybe like 5% volume for gyros. We'll see how that feels. Still working on feeling out how all of that goes. But let's put in a fuel tank down. Oh, right. We're going to need an interstage. So we'll put an interstage in right here. And then we'll put a fuel tank beneath that. I would like this fuel tank to be a fair amount longer. Something kind of like this. And then I'm thinking something like quad goblins. Uh, okay, yeah, something like quad goblins down below. That is uh, not very helpful. Let's head down here and take a quick look at this. So this is going to need to be probably a fair number more goblins, unless we can significantly change the engine size on these, which we can do up to 150%, which doesn't appear to be very efficient in terms of cost. Okay. So I want this to be at sea level thrust to weight here. So this is this is 0.25 thrust to weight. Okay. So if we keep it like this, I want to drop this back down to 100% and that's 0.23. Yeah, that's not very efficient to boost up the rocket engine size here. So that sounds good. Now what I want to do is I want to grab another set of them and we'll put that here. And let's then enable some symmetry here where we're going to have radial three, four, five, six. Six X symmetry. Okay, that's fine. That's only a thrust to weight of 0.76 though. So that is definitely not fantastic. We're gonna need more thrust than that. We could increase our number of engines again. 
like this and just change I wanted to change the overall positioning of it so just grab this and move it to be about like that or so and that would put us at a thrust to weight of 1.41 then we can grab this and put this here and do like this so this is a lot of engines right and this is 1.63 kilometers per second I don't know that that's really going to be enough Really, what we'd want to do is we would want to have, like, some side boosters or something like that. But I think ultimately what we're looking at here is this is just too much fuel, is what I suspect is happening here. So this is going to be two thrust to weight on the surface. It'll burn for 4.5 minutes, though. This will probably get us up into orbit, I would think. I would think that this would get us at 4.5 minutes of burn time. I would think that this would do the trick. So the overall craft is going to cost 64000 to launch. That's pretty cheap. I think this works. We might want to get some stabilizers on it. So that would be some fins. We would put that down over here. And we could have it be something about like this. I think that's absolutely fine. And then we would enable, like, quad symmetry or so. And that would probably do the trick. Let's see how this feels out on the pad. So we'll put this out on the village pad. 2.7k launch fee. That's acceptable. And we're just going to need to lift this guy off. And we're going to need to put it into orbit. So first things first, I want to have... I don't want to lock our current heading. I want to have this here. So we want to get some altitude. So let's lift off and see how this goes. Okay. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to take this over to a pitch of 60 degrees. Also, this is a little loud. Hang on. I'm going to uh, turn down the sound volume a little bit. There we go. That's a little bit better. So we're going to hold this at about 60 degrees if we can. Getting some horizontal speed at this point would be nice, but the primary goal is to bring up that apoapsis. But this is going to be a really, really long burn, isn't it? Well, actually, no. This is not 4.5 minutes at all. But this is a decent apoapsis. We are starting to throttle down at this point. Okay, I'd like to bring this over to a pitch of about 10 degrees. We're getting the last little bit of thrust that we can out of this SRB. Uh, that was interesting. I can't help but notice that this stage didn't fire. And then we deployed the CubeSat. Okay, so we've got a staging issue. This stage is still not firing. Apparently it throttled down. Interesting. Well, let's revert that back and take a look at our staging, which is something I did not do. <laughs> That's my own fault, of course. So let's hop out of here and take a look at the staging. This is something we need to figure out how exactly to work with. So if I recall correctly, yeah, it's not this. It is... That's the crew assignment there. Where is that staging? Here it is. Okay, so we've got these engines here. There's a lot of them, no doubt about it. And then the gnome engine is supposed to fire. So the problem was just that I didn't throttle up. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of dumb. Gotcha. That's absolutely fine. I don't mind that. So we'll just put this back on the pad, and I'd like to put this over to a pitch of about 30 degrees for right now. Let's lift this off. I'm going to maximize our throttle for the moment. And off we go. We're immediately starting to pitch over here. The pitching is going a lot better than last time. That's for sure. So that's all looking good. And our apoapsis is not quite as high as it was before. I want to keep this at about 60 for now. I want to keep punching upward with this apoapsis. So we want to get up as high as we can, right? That is the current goal. 
We're starting to lose thrust on the SRBs now. So let's just bring this up. This is an apoapsis of about 40, which is high enough. So that looks fine for the moment. Okay. And 2%, 1%, and 0% thrust. Staging. Now we're going to look to bring this over to about 10 degrees. There we go. This isn't really a natural way to do this, but uh, we're dropping our apoapsis right now. Maybe we'll keep it at like 25 for the moment. I want this apoapsis to continue going up for right now. So yeah, we'll just park it about here and we're just going to look to bring this up a bit. We're already at 70% fuel. That's interesting. That's very, very interesting. I would not expect to be at 70% fuel right now, but this is probably because of atmospheric pressure here. So we're looking to bring our apoapsis up currently to about... In fact, we should probably just be locked to prograde right now. We're going to look to bring our apoapsis up to approximately 80 kilometers, and then we're going to need to bring our periapsis up as well. Okay, we're definitely seeing the exhaust from our engine plume widen. That's a good sign. The wider it gets, the thinner the atmosphere is, and the more efficient this engine gets. So that looks fine. However, that apoapsis is not going up very fast. We need to get a fair amount more surface velocity. I'm wondering if we're going to need another stage. We might. Still getting the feel of how everything goes in this game, but so far, so good. We're currently 18 seconds to apoapsis, and time to apoapsis is dropping. So let's increase our pitch here, because I'm not at all convinced that we have enough surface velocity at this moment. And in fact, we want to be in orbital velocity, but I'm still not convinced that we have enough orbital velocity. So I'm just pitching up a little bit to push out that time to apoapsis. So that looks good for now. I want to push that apoapsis right on up. We still need about another kilometer per second to achieve orbital velocity. And what's our sea level altitude? Okay, noted. So that time to apoapsis is going up nicely. I'm going to target about 85 kilometers here. So that's 71. It's going to be going up faster and faster, of course, as we increase our speed here. Okay, 75. 10 kilometers to go. That's 80 kilometers. And 85 kilometers. That'll do. At this point, I'm going to lock us to prograde. And we can warp towards that apoapsis a little bit. I think we're technically still within the atmosphere, but barely. So this is not going to get into like any sort of super fancy orbit, but it'll get into a reasonable orbit in theory. So carry a payload to the desired orbit. And the only thing that we need to do is raise our periapsis above 80 kilometers. And that's going to be about 500-ish meters per second. So that seems fine. We should warp forward a little ways here. That's a little too far. Okay, there we go. So we're about 20 seconds to apoapsis. I'm going to start this burn at 15, and let's see what that does. Time to apoapsis is holding. It's going to start going up soon. Yep, okay. We're shutting off the engine. We're burning too early. So we're going to burn this at about 10. 11, shutting it off again. We're burning too early. Starting again at 5. Okay. Our periapsis is up reasonably, but again we were burning ever so slightly too early there. I'm going to burn at 3 this time. And there we go. So now we need to detach the CubeSat. We are officially in orbit at this moment, and that is, of course, phenomenal. So let's just detach the CubeSat, and there we go. Now it's locked within this nose cone, 
So um, <laughs> I hope it has fun in there. But that is a six. Actually, no, it clipped through the nose cone. There it goes. Well, the CubeSat is in space. Fantastic. We'll end this flight and we will destroy the craft because there's no recovering that. And the question now is, what's next? Light speed, three kilometers per second. I mean, we literally just did this. This is just achieve orbit, pretty much. Okay, well, we'll do it again. Why not? So let's launch this. And we'll put this out on the village pad. Oh, right, we need to get rid of our payload. Okay, so we need to hop in here, and the payload needs to be removed. That's awkward. Okay, so the payload gets removed, and then we put this back in. Uh, okay. There we go. Something like that. That'll be fine. So without the payload, we'll have a little bit more thrust. This is fine. We know we had plenty of leeway there to get to space, so this is absolutely A-OK. -okay. Let's lift this thing off, and I liked that roughly 60-degree heading, although I kind of want to put it at about 70, because I'd like to get a little bit more altitude here. That'll make that vacuum-optimized engine just a smidgen more efficient. So that'll be fine, and we are, of course, looking to do this. We've already achieved orbit multiple times. I don't know why it thinks that we haven't, but whatever. Maybe we're doing these missions in a weird order or something. I don't know. <laughs> well, let's just head right on over here, and we need to reach... We, we actually don't even need to circularize. We just need to go ha faster than an apoapsis of 80 kilometers and break th 3 kilometers per second. That's almost orbital velocity, but not quite. So that is fine. And we're starting to lose thrust here. We can see we've got an apoapsis currently of about 40 kilometers, and that's looking good. We've got 10% more fuel in these SRBs. 50 kilometer apoapsis. And the SRBs are dry. I forgot to throttle up again, but that's okay. You can see here we've got shock diamonds. This is, of course, indicative of us not being in a completely ideal location, but that is understood. For the moment, I want to start pitching over to somewhere around probably 20 degrees. I want to be getting almost entirely horizontal speed here, but I still want to punch up this apoapsis a little bit. Cool. So that looks good for now, and we're just going to continue to burn here at this at this heading until we reach an apoapsis of 85 kilometers. So this is looking great. I mean, this is basically the exact same thing we just did. I wish we had had this mission a little earlier, but, you know, whatever. We can only have three presented to us at a time right now, so that's probably why this appeared in this slightly strange order, but it's okay. So we're targeting an apoapsis again of 85, and we're in a much better situation fuel-wise here, although we're not going quite as fast horizontally, I don't think. That's relatively okay. At this point, I'm going to drop our nose down further. If we put our pitch at zero, would our apoapsis be dropping? No, it shouldn't be. Yeah, this is what we want here. We want to be burning directly horizontally, and we want to keep pushing that apoapsis up to 85. I just, yeah, we can see time to apoapsis is dropping, so we definitely don't want to do a coast phase right now. We'll just continue to burn here for the moment, and if we need to push that time to apoapsis back out, we'll pitch back up. But this is looking decent for now. We are at a, an appropriate altitude. Now we just need to build up about 1,500 more meters per second horizontally, and that'll be absolutely fine. Time to apoapsis is continuing to drop, though, so we... I don't want to change our heading, necessarily. We may need to change our pitch up to 10 degrees here to head that off a bit. Keeping an eye on this. It's dropping, but slowly. We can see our apoapsis is going back up, and I'm okay with this, I think. We're up to 2,000 meters per second. 
all we got to do is get to 3,000, right? And we're fine. As long as we're still above 80 kilometers. So time to Apoapsis is currently holding at 3. It should start to go up here very soon. Yep, there we go. Up to 4. I like it. And we're just going to continue to get our surface velocity up. I'm not sure if we need surface or orbital velocity, actually. They are very different. Let's set an orbital and see if that's what it's asking for. Yep, it was asking for orbital. Cool. So we've still got 20% fuel here, but this is absolutely fine. Let's end this flight and recover the craft, but of course we're going to destroy it because it's in orbit. Okay, what else do we have here? So we've got another CubeSat mission here. Wow, this is very generous. Okay, so this is basically exactly what we just did again. Launch with a CubeSat and an apoapsis, apoapsis of 96 kilometers and periapsis of 92 kilometers. Plus or minus 111, plus or minus 107. That's what I was saying. This is very generous. Like, that's a really wide margin. We can literally just get into any orbit. And this would work. <laughs> well, as long as we don't go massively above, right? Let's accept that, and we're going to need to put our payload back in. So, I guess that's fine. We can do this yet again. We'll put a CubeSat right here. Plop this guy right on top. And out we go. Let's do it again. So, I did like the 70 degree pitch. I think that was pretty decent. Let's go. I think I over-horizontaled with the, with the vacuum-optimized engine there. But we are targeting a payload orbit of 96 kilometers this time. So we're just going to go up a little bit higher. And then a periapsis of 92. I am going to try to hit this relatively close. I'm not going to rely on that ridiculous gener ridiculously generous window. So we're going to try to hit this relatively close. Looks good. So up we go with these cheap SRVs. And this will be absolutely fine. So we're currently at an apoapsis of about 39, 40 kilometers. We're going to get close to about 50, I think, if I remember right. Yeah, that's 50 there. And then we get up to like 53, 54, 55. Not bad. 58, almost. Almost 58. Okay, I need to remember to throttle that up before we go, but whatever. So we're currently chilling at this same 70 degrees, and we're targeting a higher apoapsis for now. So I'm going to continue to burn here until we hit 80, and then we're going to go to maybe like 10 degrees then. Something along those lines, 10 or 20 degrees. So we're going to hit 80 shortly. Excellent. 77, 78, 79, and 80. Let's crank this over to 10 degrees and see what that feels like. So time to apoapsis is quite a ways out, and we can see that is ticking down, which isn't surprising, but that apoapsis is going up at a reasonable rate. Cool. Okay. So we'll just burn here until we hit an apoapsis of 96 kilometers. Of course, our periapsis isn't high enough to qualify yet. And I'm not going to deploy the CubeSat until I'm happy with the orbit. Which might take a little bit of adjustment. We'll see how that goes. So we can see the time to apoapsis is going down here. So at this point, burning now is correct. We're at 90 kilometers. I'm kind of thinking about dropping our pitch a little bit more. Yes. I'm going to drop the pitch down to 5 degrees. Apoapsis is still going up, which is expected. But I want that to go up slower. We're at 93 right now. We're targeting 96. I'm going to put this at a pitch of just 1 degree. I want that to be going up very, very slowly indeed right now. So this is 94.1, 94.2, 4. Yeah, that's going up nicely. We need to hit 96 here, and we need to get a whole lot of horizontal speed yet to make it into orbit. 
We're still 20 seconds away from our apoapsis, but we have a little bit of window here. So that seems relatively fine. Okay. I'm going to boost our altitude a little bit here. Time to apoapsis is holding. Now it's going up. Beautiful. Dropping it to zero. Our apoapsis has gone up over 96 kilometers a little bit. So we could technically go to a pitch of negative one here and start to drop that down ever so slightly. But we'll probably call this good. So we'll sit at a pitch of zero right now, and we're starting to go back down at this point. But we're almost at orbital velocity, so that looks good. I'm actually cutting this. Okay, so I'm not very happy with the way that this ended. This is technically appropriate, but I want to flip this around to retrograde right now. And I want to just very, very gently burn this down. So we're just angling around to retrograde, almost there. Okay, so we're just burning this down a little bit until the periapsis is at 92 kilometers. There we go. And 97.6 for the apoapsis. Okay, let's warp around to the periapsis here. Okay. Sometime around, well, here in another 10 minutes, so... Okay, so that's in a few seconds. Let's continue to warp here. And we're just going to bring it around to about here. This is 20 seconds away. And we're going to start up a burn here relatively shortly at about five seconds, I think. It does take some time to ramp up, it seems. So let's just do this. And there we go. That is a perfect orbit, exactly what was asked for. So now we just need to detach the CubeSat, and there we go. Beautiful. We'll end that flight, and we will not recover this craft. It will, of course, be destroyed, but that is wonderful. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, maybe we'll go to orbit in this thing a few more times and get paid for it. I, I don't know. We should probably spend these tech points at some point, too. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible including ALS Gamer, Atala, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Xenocyte, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, The Lounge STL, Kintogen, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.